Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make a canning ring snowman. Now he's going to have a different hat on today. But um, I'll show you how to put together the canning rings. The bottom ring usually takes about 30, the top maybe 20 to 25, and then this is a Christmas bulb. Um, you just tuck that where the hook goes in, underneath this hat, or down into the hole of these canning rings. Then these little cute things I got at Hobby Lobby. They look like they're um, miniature Christmas lights, but I use it for the noses. And then of course you get the wiggly eyes and you can make a mouth. And then you add your uh, ribbon. So let's get started. So I have already um, made the bodies, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So you put them all together, they're loose. Tie them with twine first to get them all in a thing. To get them all lined up like this, and then you tie them tight and make sure that they're one inside the other and pull that string tight, tight. You'll cut it out later. So now, you can take a piece of wire, it's thin wire, crafting wire. And you're gonna make a little bit of a hook. You're gonna go inside here and feed that wire through here. Bring that tight. I gotta set it on my lap. You're gonna bring it tight and twist it a couple times. Just hand twist it. Now bring it back and make sure that your lids are aligning in so they fall one inside the other. Now I'm gonna cut that twine out. I can get my scissors in there. Now take your pliers and start twisting them. Just twist it and that's what makes them tight. Twist, twist, twist. Don't twist too much because sometimes it'll snap off like that and you'll have to start all over again. But anyway, that's how you get it to this point. <laughs> I'm not going to redo that. Uh, but twist your wire and just like I said, don't get too far because like I just did. Now, I'm gonna set these to the side now that you've seen what I do. The secret to getting them tight is that wire, not just the string, but use wire also and then cut your string out and then twist just so it gets tight. Now these won't move. So this one is gonna be my base. This is my body and they're gonna fit on there. So you kinda, where do you want your front? Where's the best looking part? And where is this best looking part? I think we'll just set it just like that. Now you're gonna use your hot glue and glue those two sections together. So do the top and bottom. And you kinda of gotta work fast if you got your fan blowing on you like I do. So you just make a, I have another one ready. now all right there we go so get it where that other one's gonna sit on top of make sure you get a lot on there Get it the same spot on the other one, just to re-ensure that that's not gonna go anywhere. All right, set it on top, squish it down, hold it down for a few seconds, and then let it dry for a second. Get another glue stick ready. Okay, so then 
you're gonna put your bulb on. See, here's the Christmas bulb. I already spray painted it. You want a good size bulb, some of these bigger ones. That's about the size of almost a softball. So we're gonna set it on top. And then I found these, you can find little hats at Dollar General, um, Hobby Lobby. Let me show you these, those. These are so stinking adorable. These little, aren't those cute? I'm gonna use one of these. And hopefully, now, you're gonna wanna tilt that to the back side because you don't want that hat sitting just directly on top. You wanna kinda tilt it like that one is. So, um, we will glue that in. Let me get this one out. Uh, if you if you want to draw your face on beforehand, let's let's do that. Um, find your good side. Let's see where was my good side here. Just like that. All right. So this is going to go on at an angle. So I want my eyes and my. I can always draw my mouth on later. It doesn't really matter. So I found these wiggle, wiggle eyes. They're $2.99 at a craft store. Um, they wiggle. And then these, they're uh, Mayberry Street lights, Christmas lights I showed you for the nose, and I got those at Hobby Lobby as well. There's like 140 in here for three bucks. So they go a long way. Um, so I think, I think I want him to have a blue nose. Oh wait, either red or orange, I guess, because it's a carrot nose. So they have a little stem on here, so go ahead and cut that off. So then your nose is gonna fit right on there. All right, so I'm gonna pull that off, I don't need it. Okay, so I'm gonna make the face. So the biggest thing is right now is finding where you want your nose. So kind of see where your hat's gonna sit. So I think right there. So I'm gonna put this in my lap for now because I have to make a bead of glue for this to sit in. A small bead of glue. just going to hold it onto it for just a minute. It doesn't take much. Okay, so I have my nose on. You see it? So now, I gotta see if, I'm sorry, I'm going to try and bring you up on the other thing so I can answer any questions. Hang on, I gotta find you. There we go. Alright. Okay. Just so you can see me. So you're gonna have a little spider web of glue. So pull that off. It's sticky. Now find your eyes, your eyeballs. They even make these with eyelashes, so if you wanna make little girl ones, it's really cute. Okay, this is going to sit kind of off of his head, so we're going to have to squish it down because you have to cut the inside out on these, so you want to make sure that you have something up in there. So let's go ahead and get the eyes on, so just put a little dab of super glue, super glue, hot glue on the back of an eye, just a little bit. Put it on there and then get the other one same thing make sure they're even so then you have the face except for the mouth now you can draw the mouth on once you have a good idea of 
what to use for the mouth. Maybe you have another idea. And I don't have my marker. I had a marker. Well, I guess I'll draw it on later. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, so I'm going to draw the mouth on. You can find all kinds of different, if you just Google, The little face. Now you can actually even take some, I might even do that, take some pink paint, acrylic, just a little dab on your finger and give them some rosy cheeks. Let me get that glue off there. Um, let me see. just going to put a dab right here. You need hardly anything at all. So rub it on your fingers. Um, it dries fast. right on me. Alright. <laughs> awesome. Just awesomeness. There. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There. It has little cute cheeks. Okay. Now enough of that. Silliness. To dry now so I don't transfer any paint on him. All right, so now we can glue the head on. I'm a mess. So we can glue the head on, make sure it's tilted because you want that pat. you want this stuff to the side or to the front so you'll have to make that decision all right um, I think we'll glue the hat on, head on first before we put the hat on all right same thing look where the the head sits actually in that and we're gonna need I'm not even gonna put any on there and you can move it around for just a few minutes till you get it to where you want it. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. And if you think you need to, you can add a little bit more. And let it run down into it. Just for a minute. These flies are slow and annoying. I think I'm going to put some on the back side too. So he is on there, his head is on there, and now we're going to, I got to cut this little hook off because that was, it dangled on a tree, so. So now I'm going to put glue on right here around so I can slip it right over top, but yet it's going to touch that bowl. So, I'm going to get another one in there before I do this. 
get it ready. All right, that should do it. I'm just gonna squish him down. And the last thing we can do is add a ribbon, um, like for a scarf or something. Now, if you have or can find little branches that if you want to stick in through the holes for arms, you go right ahead. Um, I never have. I guess I never really looked for any branches that would work. So, um, but <laughs> there he is so far. So let me, let me get him a scarf. I think we should use this one. No, he's got a different, a different hat than that. So that's not gonna work. Hmm. Anyway, you can put, you can use the ribbon for a scarf. I might. I just might. All right. It's both plaid. One's black and white. One's red and black. So it's it is what it is. So I think we're just gonna scrunch it up to the back. I'm gonna hot glue it back there. hot glue it into that crack of the back of the neck. So that stays. And then you can just bring it around to the front and just do a one loop, like for a scarf. I'm going to hot glue this right to the front of his chest. Right like that. So it will stay. And then I can trim. hanging down so yeah I got a mess it's okay um I don't think I have any I might over there in the thing I might have something I might stick in there and see what it looks like but just want to make sure that's stuck down and I'm gonna stick this down. So that stays down. And then I'll cut them. Let's see how far. If you want, you can actually glue it to him. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think it's good enough. All right, so let me look over here. stems on pumpkins, but I wonder if these would work. 
So you can stick them in there. I don't know how long I need them though. Let's break them to about there. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Candy ring snowman. There it is. Wayne with his arms. So you can switch up the hats, you can switch up the scarves, but the basics on how to make the rings, go back and watch the replay, and I show you in the very beginning. Um, don't mind me, the wire busted, but you get the uh, you get the concept of how to get these solid so they're not moving around but and this is a christmas bulb so <laughs> they're fun to do guys hope you guys have fun um with this and show me what you make bye guys